Hey guys, Tarrup here, bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. Plenty of spawning in the south, we've got TGW with Orc. Going for the fast here first. See the war mill is up, so it's going to be Headhunters. Same attack. story from Orc Worker in the north to Miramatch. Of course with the fast here, also with Headhunters. Of course Headhunters did get 25 more health this patch, so... Probably the most impactful change in this matchup. On top of that, uh, you know, Spirit Walkers faster to produce and tick their upgrades. Got a little tick speed uh, increases as well. But we'll see if that's relevant in this game. Torin, I think, uh, also a bit faster to build, maybe. Crystal Ball, that is one change. Now you can see it comes with three charges, drops in uh, earlier camps. It's more of a uh, temporary early game scouting tool rather than uh, a long game value option. A player's forces are under attack. Pretty similar creep paths as well. Doing this one day early, of course, because there's a patch for code 3 tomorrow, so I need to do my usual Wednesday upload this code 3 instead. Okay, Tusker. What do we get here? Big Invault versus Big Invault. Okay, very fair. We get a Wand of Illusion. Okay, yeah, now creates an illusion. Gotta send that out to do some scouting. Probably should have done that like about here. A little bit more time with it, but not a huge deal. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, got the shop. Clarity, that's pretty much the main difference so far. We're getting sent out. Interrupts the clarity with that illusion. Probably got to read. Okay, I'm taking no damage. Definitely illusion clause plus five back there. This is ring plus four. Wolves doing a bit of a wrap around, looking for some uh, easy targets. A player's forces are under attack. See, the tick was a bit faster from TGW. He's going for a Shadow Hunter. Interesting. Still pumping the uh, Hit Hunters up here. He's got Troll Regeneration coming online shortly. And starting up a Spirit Lodge. Interesting. Doing a little bit for us. Oh, Orc Worker going for a Tavern Hero, going for the Panda. Creeping that out, isolated, while the Farseer tries to do some harass. Slow down TGW. Who looks like he is going to follow through with that uh, Shadow Hunter. Spins one of the reveals. On the Crystal Ball. Coming in here with the Farseer attack. to do some harass, perhaps. Just a lot of posturing over the center at the moment. Looks like they are both ready for an, a bit of a battle, though. Neither of them with any damage upgrades yet on the Headhunters. Chain lightning out the back early on. Gonna run away from each other's wolves. Hex. Drunken Haze. Close fighting at the moment. Good micro from both players. Managed to save that one, and this one also kind of running away. Maybe it feels like Orc Worker coming out on top slightly.
Good blocking there on the far seer. Able to get quite a lot of healing value on this headhunter. I think it's far enough away that he doesn't really know where it is to continue Our chasing anymore. It's our nighttime vision. Where's the shadow hunter going? I'm not sure. Oh, taking up tier three on both players. Looks like Awkward has a slight lead in the tech race, though. Fortified armor on the burrows. Not over here yet, though. And a bestiary coming in from Orc Worker. Ooh, a little bit of blocking by the wolves. Gets some more damage onto that farce here. A lot of camps left. A player's forces are under attack. Over here. Draws them out. I'll try to go for the big item, but it doesn't quite work. Now the Farsi is in a trouble position, gets purged. In trouble getting away, pops the invault. Muscles up here a little bit, but it's not a good fight, really. have any salves to heal the fast here back up either. I think I was about to wear her off. Oh, but I hear Berserkers popping. Yep, Berserkers popped on uh, TGW's, oh, I mean, uh, Orc Worker's side. TGW a little bit behind on the Berserker forces tech. Are under attack. He probably doesn't want to fight until he's uh, ready to go there. It does mean he's probably going to lose this big item. The healing wards. Okay. Wonder if any of them are going to try to tick up to witch doctors anyway. A lot of shaman coming in. Okay, and a kodo. Going to boost up the damage. One damage upgrade. Zero so far. Oh, it's in pr progress. Forces oh. are under attack. Third hero, Torn Chieftain coming on. Well, there's master training for these shaman. So it's going to be a bit of bloodlust. He's going back to do a bit of creeping now. Okay, he's going to hit three here. Put down a healing ward as well to make this camp nice and easy and make sure he's full strength for the next fight. Oh, drops the uh, gauntlets there. Whoops. He tried to transfer them over the TC, misclicked. And it's going to be a base attack from Orc Worker at this timing. It's got, you know, a nice flute of accuracy, so it buffs up the damage. Feels like he's got siege. the tools to uh, win a fight. Goes into these burrows here. And complete the uh, Greek camp. It looks like he's going to try run back as well. Oh boy, he's going to lose his barracks. He started a voodoo lounge out the back here. In shop. Yeah, that's a TP out. Doesn't lose a burrow at least. But that's going to slow down production for quite some time. Looks like both players just going to bank at 50 though for a bit longer here. Maybe the loss of the barracks might not matter too much. He completed the Berserker upgrade, at least, so... That's the most important thing. He's left Bloodlust on a bit, though. And he's Shaman on Autocast, I imagine. Both players now going to creep out pretty much the rest of the map. Seems like perhaps TGW is going to get a slight edge, a going to steal this camp, but attack. I guess the shop did go to Orc Worker, so maybe it evens out for the long term. Stopping by the shop. 
Got a heal scroll on the Farseer now. Heal scroll on the Brew, as well as two Involve Potions, two rings, plus nine armor. That Brew is a beast. A player's forces are under Incredibly attack. Incredibly hard to kill. We're coming in for an attack. This one's going to have to be a Town Portal. It was a Helm of Valor over here. Did you sell the item? Whatever he got. Town Portal in. Big stomp, but he's very clumped up for the uh, haze fire combo. So both players trying to focus each other's shamans down. Oh, it's craziness here. TC just able to get away. Panda pops in by himself. Huge focus fire damage both sides. Well, oh, that's a value stomp though, and that's a value healing ward out the back. Finally cancels it, but did a lot of work. TC's coming back in. He's got no more mana though. Looks good right now for Orc Worker. And TUW's on the run. Oh boy, but his Shadowhunter's in trouble. Getting blocked. Oh, it's pretty good healing though. Picks up the uh, gauntlets that he left behind. One Berserker, a little bit isolated here. And while the hero's getting the run around, picks up the invol and a town portal. Someone coming in with the Purge. TC's in some trouble. There's a plus five claw. They haven't updated the uh, pictures. And he pops the uh, town portal. Okay, it's away. If it's attention away from his base. And the food count's actually pretty similar. It seemed like TGW had maybe a bit more. I mean, uh, all players had a bit more, but are under attack. I suppose he does actually. He's got, got some extra gold in the bank. Doesn't have to uh, reproduce quite as much. Pops down to Sentry Ward, checking for expansions in the future. Puts Bloodlust down on all the heroes to start things out. Okay, more damage upgrades. 2-1 over here. About to be 3-0. Uh, Slightly different priorities there on the upgrades. Interesting. Okay. Counters his ward. And now TGW is going into attack mode. Orkuga has broken into upkeep just. Gonna hit before this upgrade completes as well. Where was the breath of fire from the panda? It's just drunk and hazing, that's interesting. Okay, there it goes now. Chain lightning coming back the other way, big stomps. This is getting focused, getting purged. In trouble, one more stomp. Oh, he can't get away though. Panda now getting focused, but he's got those two rings. He's taking a hell of a beating. A little bit of a mischance going as well. Oh, the panda's still alive, but he runs back in. He's still alive though. And that was pretty much just Shaman. So many headhunters for Orc Worker. How is he... How is TGW going to win this one? And to go a bit of healing out the back, I think. So, uh, again, as the dust settles, Orc Worker coming out about 10 food up. And the hero down for TGW. The healing there buys another heal potion. No, he doesn't. Yeah, I think it was just better positioning. You know, a lot of TGW's units kind of clumped up. It was a nice convex position for Orc Worker. All of his units attacking quite easily. And the difference on the heroes, you know, the TC getting focused. The Panda able to survive with those double rings. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, there's still uh, some creeps down here in this corner. 
Interesting. I don't think uh, TGW was expecting that. Tried to, I think he tried to do some long range mining or maybe start up an expansion down here. Put down some towers. Doesn't work. Maybe a bit of a creep jack could help things out. Sentry ward down. We have a level 5 fire seer versus only level 4 here, but he's very close to the upgrade. Oh, yeah, he'd hunt to die over here? Maybe not. Drunken Haze. Okay, Purge, that's level 5. Ooh, what? Did he Chain Lightning steal that? I think he might have. Hammer Bella. Okay, very fair. Both players getting the same item. But the extra damage, you know, the True Shot Aura, the 3 damage upgrades versus 2. A bit of extra focus fire. TC's coming back in, though. Good stomp. Oh. Chain Lightning, Breath of Fire back the other way. Stomp again. Focusing down the Kodo. TC getting low once more. But he's healed up. He's got a few consumables as well, popping those. As fast as TC with the Bloodlust with the Aura, he's chasing them down. Critter kind of getting in the way though, I think. Pretty similar food counts right now. Oh, that was a terrible stomp. Got rid of uh, both wolves though with it. Not the best breath of fire the other way as well. Shaman out of position though, getting focused very fast. And it's the last of the mana on the TC. A lot of very low headhunters back here, but it looks like they were going to survive. Drunken Haze chased down on a lot of units for TGW. He's three. Oh, that is so painful. And now, again, a 10 food lead for Orc Worker. Keeps happening this way. Picks up Invol Heal. Scroll. Salving up. Shops right at the back of his base as well. Not the most convenient to access. Going to slow him down a bit. Still uh, only uh, two upgrades. We've got a line of peons heading out though to do some long range mining it appears. Both players flush with wood. Not as much for TGW though. He's just looking for every little last bit of efficiency. Fifty versus forty though. Coming across here. Bad stomps in that very last fight from TGW though. Oh boy, he's going for a tiny great hall. He's chucking a shop down here as well. A player's forces are under attack. If he can uh, get this working, this could be huge. Gun's getting attacked by the wolves, though. That's very, very annoying. Did he go for... He went for level 3 chain lightning. I was like, hold on, that looks like a level 2 wolf to me. Okay. Level 3 chain lightning on TGW's side. He's got the mana potion as well. A town the, uh, is under Great Hall's up and running. Can't say the same about this Voodoo Lounge, though. That goes down. Here we go. Chain Lightning rattling through. One heal scroll on the uh, pink side. Oh, those wolves are nasty, man, with the bloodlust as well. Look out the peon line so quickly. Big haze fired. Solid stomp back the other way. Purging away the wolves. Invol on the TC. This spot on the green side. Disengaging both players. A player's forces are under attack. And it does have a mana potion as well. Got that Kodo beast out the back as well. Look at that extra damage. So much more damage on pink side. And even with this piercing damage be able to kill off the Great Hall. Little haze fire there. 
Tis is coming back in. Focus fire on the panda. He's uh, actually going down a bit here. Same story back the other way, the TC getting low. He's very close to another stomp. Oh, the Farsi uh, getting away. The panda, though, he's just so beefy. Got the helm of valor. Two rings. He just refuses to go down. Got 400 gold left here. So maybe Orc Worker feels like he can't finish the job right now. Gonna try to go for an expansion himself. Pion scouting up here. And down here, all scouting everywhere else. Does have an extra, you know, thousand-ish gold. Banked up. 20 food lead. Don't know how TGW is going to do this one. Okay, he's got an extra 300-ish gold in his mine, I suppose, because of uh, Wolf or S. He's still, he's still 20 food behind. I am a little bit surprised not to see Orc Worker go for a tiny great haul during this timing. Here we go. So he's starting out the long range mine situation. Oh, and the bloodlust. And now TGW's out of gold. 20 food behind still though. Comes into the orc base. Kill off the shop. Pretty decent target. Knocking out some of the region. Okay there he actually did go for a tiny great haul. Put it on the panda. It's coming up. Oh never went for fortified armor on these burrows actually. So they are quite vulnerable, and that's a level up on the TC as well with that burrow kill. Good stomp once again. Okay, fire though, back the other way. More pushing on the TC. Oh, that's a huge stomp. But, ooh, heal scroll, keeping things alive for the moment. Focus on the fast here. Farsi is getting low. Getting out of range though. TC also falling. Both players lose a hero. Another chain lightning uh, catching a little bit. He's still got a lot of mana left on that fast here as well. If he can run back here, he can kill a lot. Two more chain lightnings will do a lot. Yeah, he got two units there. Three now. Another chain lightning. That'd be huge. Yep, there we go. Chain lightning. Oh, he killed so much with that chain. Now the food count's evening out very quickly. I don't know what Orc Worker was thinking, chasing in like this. And he's... Maybe gonna lose his Kodo now as well. The food counts are pretty much gonna even out, of course. Do have... This expansion running. Buyback on the Farseer. No mana, no health, not that useful really. No shop, remember? So he, he can't really come back and pop any clarities or anything. I think that's the Orc Worker's main uh, issue right now. Really should have built a shop, but maybe uh, couldn't afford to, given he bought back the uh, Farsi, a very expensive at level 6. Can't buy that. Might even have been better if the Farsi didn't hit 6 before he died. And his gold line getting slaughtered. Meanwhile, TGW is creeping up in gold and might be able to buy oh train back. This dude hero shortly. We go for a buyback on the uh, TC. Little skirmishes here with the uh, with players trying to milk all the value back. out of their units so they can. Oh, that's level six on the panda. Didn't notice that was about to pop. Back 
the other way. The f Chiranda is kind of close to six, but, you know, Big Bad Voodoo sucks. Oh boy, Hicks. Focus fire, and the Fuzzy goes down again. Oh, TGW, how are you doing this right now? The Peon line is completely diminished. Got one coming in from somewhere. Okay, from the other side of the map. Went for level 3 Hex, of course. Yeah, as I said, Big Bad Voodoo is just not, not very useful most of the time. Away here. I've seen the wolves in again. Gone to 2x speed here while not much is happening. Alright. Last peon dead. Panda's ultimate activated. Doesn't seem that familiar, maybe, with the panda controls. Probably should have put the Farseer up in the air and started smashing stuff. Seems like a bit of a waste of this ultimate, if I'm completely the honest. Is under siege. Farseer is coming back, though, from the altar. The wolf's going to scout that out. So he just comes back here with the panda to defend this. Make sure the Farseer can survive. In the meantime, the expansion looks like it is going to go down, though. The TC is coming. About a quarter way back now. Someone's up a new set of wolves. I think what their normal damage is decent against fortified armor. Not good, but only sieges. Good attack rate on them, and they polish it off. I see her just about back. So is the TC. Checking for expansions. I'm guessing nothing happening. Wolves scouting out. Alright, 2x speed while we wait for these heroes to clash once more. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Just a bit of a wolf race going after the shaman. Okay. Orc worker coming in. Wonder where the panda's ultimate is in terms of uh, cooldown. A town is Here we go. Some the fire there. It's just a hero battle. On Berserker as well, but that's probably going to go down to these wolves. It's fire. There's no more mana on the panda for his ultimate. Looks like TGW is going to take this. The extra healing on the Shadow Hunter and the high level Hex working out very well in this fight right now. Goes the Farseer. Looks like Hawk Worker's gonna you know, throw in the towel there. Maybe they're talking to each other a little bit. Wow. <laughs> okay. What a comeback from TGW. He's pretty much perpetually 10 food behind, or if not 10 food, like when it came to rebuild, big amount of resources that amounted to 10 food. But somehow in the ultra late stages, just coming out on top in the hero battle, I think it was a big mistake from uh, Orc Worker to chase with his kind of low-ish health army and just got chain lightninged out. He lost most of his army to those like three back-to-back -back chain lightnings while the Farsi was dead. Maybe as well Orc Worker a little bit late getting the tiny Great Hall down. I feel like he probably could have got that up about a minute, 
minute and a half earlier when he had more dominant territory control. And uh, yeah, TGW, wow. <laughs> Got it done in the end. Uh, the, the tankiness of the panda that game was insane. Just never died thanks to those two rings. You know, made such a big difference in those fights. And as well as that, I think Orko could getting, you know, the better items with the aura and with the Kodo extra damage definitely helped in those fights. But yeah, late game TGW. Doing it somehow. The mass chain lightnings working out very, very well. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft reaction. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.